Hello everybody, it uh, seems like weeks, probably months, since I've been able to post a video here, uh, but I've managed to carve out a bit of time in my lunch break here at work to talk about a book which has got nothing to do with my work here at Vintage because we don't publish it. It is published by Myriad Editions, and the novel is called The Last Pilot by Benjamin Johncock. Um, now, I have a bit of a thing about uh, astronauts and the space race and that sort of thing. Uh, I think because I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid, like lots of boys, um, and I just sort of love the idea of it. And so, a few years ago now, I reviewed a book called Ascent by Jed Mercurio, which I absolutely loved because it sort of told the space race story, but from the Russian side. It's a brilliant book and I would really recommend it. Um, but when I heard that uh, Ben was writing a book um, about the space race, my ears pricked up and I really wanted to read it. Um, and that's why I'm taking the time to talk to you about it because I loved it. And I loved it because it's very different to what I was expecting. It is influenced by something like The Right Stuff, of course, and it is set in that American period, and it does follow those American test pilots and the very dangerous work that they were doing. But what Ben does is to sort of take a, a fictional character and insert him into the sort of very real, non-fictional world that we know. So we, we read about people like Neil Armstrong and Jim Lovell, but we are following a man called Jim Harrison and his wife Grace. And the focus really is on those two and their domestic life. And so we do see the very dangerous testing of these jet engines and then the sort of development of the space race, but we are following it sort of from a very domestic setting. We are seeing how that affects their marriage, how it affects their life at home, um, and the impact that it has on the, the sort of decisions that they make through life. And the big thing for them is that they try very hard to have children and it doesn't seem to be working, and then a daughter finally comes along, uh, and then she gets incredibly ill. And so what we have is a sort of brilliant focus on that, but also we get to sort of see all of the developments that are happening with the space race. And so uh, the best way to describe it is that you do get the thrill of the sort of uh, incredibly dangerous things that are happening up above the skies and, and, and indeed out into space. But we always sort of get that information from the ground. So we are listening in on radios, we are hearing communications, we, we are very seldom actually in the plane or the uh, lunar module itself. You know, we, we, we are hearing what happens as it happens down on the ground. And you'll probably have seen a film like Apollo 13 and you'll remember those scenes of the sort of anxious wives and families listening to the radio, waiting to see what's going to happen. And that's how you feel as a reader. You are very much sort of sat on the edge of your seat wondering if people are going to be okay. Um, there are some brilliant characters sketched out here and as I said, the real impact of this book is an emotional one because you are so involved in Jim and Grace's life, you feel as if you've sort of moved into a, a room in their house. And you really care about both of them, but very separately because they live almost very separate lives. And you, you care desperately about the two of them and you want things to be okay, but uh, they've got their very own different separate problems. Um, and that's a, quite a brave thing to do, I think, in a novel like this. Um, so, as I said, you can tell from my enthusiasm that I really did enjoy it. Um, and so I recommend it to anybody who is like me and likes a bit of a astronaut-based uh, fictional adventure, but also anybody who is looking for a, a very different um, look at that era. Um, as I said, a very domestic one, a very emotional one, and you know, you will have a lump in your throat several times whilst reading this book, is all I will say. So there we go. That is The Last Pilot by Benjamin Johncock, uh, which is published by Myriad Editions. Um, I have no idea when I might get a chance to do another video for you, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, and if you're not already following what I'm doing on Vintage, I will leave a link underneath this video, and you can follow the Vintage vlog over there. Anyway, for now, take care. Bye-bye.